Alright, back again Luke here. And today what I thought we could do is take a look at uh, some retro PC hardware. And uh, that hardware that we're looking at today is this. This is the Fujitsu Micro 8. And uh, interestingly enough, if you take a look at this thing, it looks kind of, you know, maybe a little bit average, you know, not too huge. But this thing is uh, actually quite big um, to kind of do a bit of a comparison here. Here's a uh, an Xbox 360. So, well, there's... Uh, there's the end. Well, I guess we can push it there. This thing is about the size of uh, two Xbox 360s. <laughs> so it's kind of interesting. I know that uh, micro, they mean like uh, microprocessing or microcomputing, but uh, there is nothing micro about this beast. Um, this thing is a massive piece of hardware. And uh, this is a really important piece of hardware as far as uh, not only computing goes, but as far as gaming goes as well. The uh, Fujitsu Micro, or the Micro 8, was uh, one of Fujitsu's um, earliest PCs. Uh, this is the first one that actually used the FM logo and before this there was one that was uh, LH something or uh, LK something which was an earlier model but this is the first one to introduce the uh, FM or Fujitsu Micro logo here. Uh, this particular model was used in uh, offices, it was used in businesses it wasn't really released for home use and you can probably see why I mean with the size of the machine here this is something that would not be uh, very popular in somebody's home but uh, it does have quite a few um, pretty cool features for its time uh, this thing was released in 81 and uh, it's like I had mentioned before there was uh, a predecessor that was the uh, the LK I, I believe and then the uh, successor for this was the FM 11 now you can see that the numbers are kind of going up here but uh, after the FM 11 the FM 11 was a uh, another business use PC but uh, after the FM 11 was an FM 7 so they kind of had a little bit of uh, some numbers going uh, this way and that and the FM 7 was actually a home use PC but I'll talk about that one in uh, in the next video here but as far as the specs on this thing goes uh, this thing is basically it has uh, 64k of RAM it's got a 48k of VRAM and uh, it's able to display eight colors this thing is pretty much like an early 8-bit uh, uh, PC what this thing was uh, able to do here is it could use uh, five and a quarter or floppies and if we take a look at the floppy drive which is uh, almost as long as the uh, <laughs> the PC itself you can see this thing has two huge drives in it and uh, these just connect to the back of this uh, and as far as the um, the uh, what is it the operating system on this I believe this one uses uh, OS 9 but um, it was able to use floppy drives as well, or floppies as well. And you can see here with the drives, these are some beasts. On the back here, you can see the uh, floppy drive attachments for there. And on the back of this machine here, if we take a closer look, well, we'll take a look at the, uh, the top here. This thing has one of those kind of like emergency uh, doors that you would uh, automatically see on an airplane or an aircraft or something like that, or, uh, you know, some sort of dangerous button. But uh, this is the on-off power switch. And I assume this is a place to put your sandwich. <laughs> I mean, it's a, it's a huge compartment in here and uh, a lot of space. You, know, you could probably put pens and pencils, notepads and things like that. Got some uh, dirt on the inside there, but um, a really huge machine. And uh, really interesting that they had put the power switch on the inside here. Really could have made it easier just by putting it on the side. But nonetheless, if we take a look at the back here, you can see on the back we have the, uh, the power cable that comes out of the top. You can see the expansion ports here. These were for the printer ports, and uh, I'm trying to think on what else. This might have had an optional tape uh, adapter for it as well, but uh, there were a couple of different things. Uh, one of these is for the uh, uh, the floppy drives, but I think there was an additional tape the player that could play uh, or could be added to this. Uh, you can see that uh, it does have a connector here for a CRT monitor. You can use a color, yeah, there's the audio cassette port. <laughs> so um, what was nice about the audio cassettes too is there were some games that were released for the uh, FM7 and those FM7 games can be played on the FM8. So. Uh, here's the reset button uh, and over here I believe you have some of your uh, 
boot settings for example like the clock speed uh, things like that but uh, it's something that I haven't messed around with at all uh, this machine itself unfortunately I don't have a monitor that I can just easily hook this thing up to I do have a cable as I drop it over here I have a cable that can work with a uh, uh, a Sharps X68000 monitor, but unfortunately this is uh, not the correct uh, end that I need. I need the uh, male end for it, and this is, uh, unfortunately, this is a female end, so... But uh, eventually I will be putting up some uh, video on this thing in action. As of right now, like I said, I can't really show anything in action, but I can just show you a little bit of what the machine looks like. Like I mentioned, it's a, it's a beast here. The power supply for it is quite large as well. Uh, if we take a look at the power supply, I believe the power supply runs up underneath uh, this this whole section up underneath here as well. It's quite large, but uh, it's really well built, very very sturdy. If we take a closer look, it almost looks like uh, fiberglass, like it's made out of fiberglass here. But yeah, just want to share with you guys a little bit of a look at uh, the Fujitsu Micro Eight and uh, it is a, a big monster here and I believe this thing uh, from what I had done on the research it was also released in the UK and when this thing was released in Japan it was uh, I think it released for around two thousand dollars or uh, two hundred thousand yen and in the UK uh, from what I found out it was released at uh, about nine hundred pounds so uh, for those of you out there who are maybe looking for a couple more retro PCs to add to the collection, you might want to think about picking up a Fujitsu Micro 8 if you can find it, and if you have the space for it, because this thing's a monster. It weighs about 12, 13 pounds or so. Uh, quite, you know, quite bulky, but nonetheless, just a little bit of a look at one of Fujitsu's earlier uh, <laughs> PCs and uh, business use PCs, and uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching. I think uh, next we'll be putting up a few videos on the old Fujitsu Micro 8. So, we'll be back in a bit.